All right, so today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened Fizz LR Super Saiyan Team Trunks at Rainbow Status on the global side of the game. Now, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, I want to go over his EZA details. So if you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so starting with his leader skill, it's Fizz types, key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. His 12 key super attack causes colossal damage and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns. And his 18 key super causes mega colossal damage and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns. His passive is attack plus 150% and defense plus 100%, key plus 3, plus an additional attack plus 50% when attacking extreme class enemies. And then high chance of performing a critical hit, just like before the EZA, it's 50% and uh, plus an additional key plus 5 and performs a critical hit when there is a Wicked Bloodline category enemy. So basically he's getting guaranteed crits against all Wicked Bloodline uh, characters like Frieza, Cooler, King Cold, and so on and so forth. And his links are, as you can see, not quite maxed out but somewhat close. And he has a level 5 attack skill orb, level 4 dodge, and level 4 additional as well. So that is my Fizz LR Trunks and the event we're running is the uh, what's it called again? Terrifying Saiyans or something like that? Wicked Saiyans? Uh, something Saiyan stage of infinite Dragon Ball history. Now unfortunately there are no Wicked Bloodline category enemies obviously on this stage but they're all extreme so he will be getting the additional 50 attack or 50% attack boost. So on this first rotation, we have the Fizz Trunks linked up with the AGL Trunks, starting with 160,578 defense, which is not bad. It's not bad considering he will be stacking some defense on his super attacks. So we'll give him seven orbs right there. And once he attacks, that will turn into an 18 key super. So let's see. What he can do here. Alright, so first attack, 19 key, 3.56 mil additional. <sighs> Damn, okay, so no additional super. We do get the additional normal attack. Both of them are crits, which is good. Um, so yeah, some decent damage that turn, I would say. We tanked that super very well, only took 18k. So yeah, at that point, he should have been over 200,000 defense, so it makes sense. Um, yeah, there you go. First impressions of the Trunks. Attack stat, not as high as you would like it to be, but we are missing some pretty key links, like uh, Legendary Power, for example. So what I actually want to do is eventually link up the uh, Biz Trunks with the Tech uh, LR Gohan, because they do share four links, as, uh, including Legendary Power, of course, so that should be a good rotation um, we can eventually see. But, you know, based on my, like, experience with this Trunks up to this point, which is not a lot, you know, I've only had about two hours to play around with him, um, I think he's kind of, uh, what's the right word, uh, <laughs> okay, I think he's kind of mid, and I know there's a very negative connotation to that word, um, but it really shouldn't be that that negative, you know? I think it's just a appropriate way to describe something that's kind of in the middle, you know? It's kind of in the middle, not like bad, but not great. Just somewhere in that middle space where like, it's still good, but it could be better. You know, so just based off that description, I think mid might be an appropriate um, way to describe the Fizz LR Trunk. So after one super, we're now up to 208,000 defense, which is really good. Uh, we're not really good, but, but, but quite good. You know, it's quite good. And uh, we'll get even more defense after this super right here. And oh, there's a dodge. Nice. So 2.4 mil for this 12k super and we should be able to finish off the Nappa as you can see he's critting all the time because he does have the built-in 50% chance to crit which is why 
if you're uh, building him in the hidden potential system, you want to give him as many additionals as possible since he's already getting so much crit um, with his passive, right? So uh, yeah, as I was saying, I think he's somewhere in the middle among the LREZAs. I don't think he's quite as good as obviously STR Broly. I don't think he's quite as good as LR Goku and Frieza. Um, I think he's better than Int Gohan. He's probably better than Majin Vegeta. He might be better than LR Bardock, or him and Bardock are a bit of a toss-up. I think uh, it might be pretty close between the two. Um, yeah, like, he's good. He's good. He will give you very solid damage, especially if you're facing a Wicked Bloodline enemy. If you're facing Wicked Bloodline, he's actually going to give you above average damage for sure. Um, defensively, he will also hold up, I think, pretty well. I mean... Look at this, we're now up to 269,000 defense with one more super, I think we should be over 300,000. So when fully fully built up, when fully stacked up, um, you know, his, his defense will not be uh, a liability at all. You know, if we're talking about like the later stages of the Legendary Goku event or the Legendary Vegeta event, yeah, he might still get hit for a lot because those guys just hit stupidly hard with uh, their super attacks. Um, I missed the attack stat there. I think it probably was over 4 mil though, right? 4.2 or something like that. So yeah, I'm not really sure what that was, but most likely more impressive than what we've seen up to this point. Uh, this rotation is actually kind of rough, although... I guess it's fine since we have an AGL Turtles attacking us. So I'm gonna leave the Trunkses, or sorry, the Gohans, where they are. And <laughs> none of the Gohans are getting a Oh no, this one's getting a super. The two out of the Gohans, two out of three Gohans not getting supers. Not a big deal, we're not here to showcase them. You guys know what the AGL Gohan's about, you guys know what the Tech Gohan's about, so it's fine. But uh, yeah, that's currently my assessment. Maybe I need to test them more, maybe I need to play around with him a little bit more, but I just think he's like quite good, but I do wish he was better. I, I do wish he was better, I gotta be honest. Um, Alright, so 245,000 defense now, interesting. Oh, I guess it's because we can't continue, continue to stack more defense, so we had already reached the max before, maybe? I wasn't counting the super, so I guess maybe we already reached the the maximum number of stacks that he can get if he's only getting one super every turn. If you get if you get multiple supers every turn, then you could stack a little bit more. But I guess uh, this is kind of around what you can expect. So just under 300,000 or maybe a little bit over 300,000 if you get lucky with the additionals. But that's generally where his defense is going to be. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be good enough for the most part. As you can see, 45k, like, that's that's good tanking. I think that's that's actually quite good tanking at this this point in the stage. And additional super? Ah, come on, man. We're not getting lucky with the additionals. Not getting lucky with the additionals. And no crit there either. I think with a crit, that would have actually hit pretty hard, considering we had almost 5 mil attack stat. So, um, yeah, that's how I feel about the, uh, the Trunks, guys. And I think that... He definitely will not age the best um, compared to some of the other LREZAs. I think that he's probably going to become outdated quite a bit faster than you would like him to. Because even though like right now his damage and his defense is good enough, I think in like a year from now, it might not be enough. You know, and he doesn't get any like damage reduction or anything like that. So yeah, I just don't feel like he's going to hold up the best long term, which... Makes me really sad because I've said this many, many times now. He is my personal favorite of the uh, OG 5LRs. I'm talking about the Majin Vegeta, the STR Broly, the uh, Rose and Zamasu, Int Gohan, and this guy, right? And him being my favorite, I wanted him to be the best. I really did. I wanted him to be the best without question. Oh, additional super here. Perfect. Beautiful additional super. Brit. Yes. Okay, so he almost soloed Aragus by himself there. So he can definitely put out the damage. He can definitely 
hit very hard. Um, it's just like, you know, it, it's not maybe as hard <laughs> as you'd like it to be um, for the newest LREZA. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Do you think I'm being a little bit too harsh or do you think I'm, you know, right on the money with this assessment? Because I think maybe I'm letting my fandom of Trunks uh, get in the way of my judgment. You know, like maybe my expectations were just too high. Maybe I wanted him to be really, really good. When he, when he did, didn't turn out to be as good as I would have liked, I was kind of disappointed, right? Because at the end of the day, everything is about expectations. It's all about expectations. If you have low expectations and something's actually decent, then you'll be impressed. If you have very high expectations and something is really good, but not quite as good as you wanted it to be, then you'll still be disappointed, regardless of how good the thing actually is, because it's not as good as you would have hoped, if that made sense. <laughs> I'm not really sure if what I said made sense, but um, hopefully you guys get where I'm coming from right now. Uh, anyways, um, I think there are only two more phases of this fight here, and Trunks is at 253,000 defense, which is right where I was expecting him to be. And that's going to be another 18k super. I do like the fact that he's getting the additional 3 key when he's fighting um, Extreme Class, so it's not that hard to get his 18k super consistently. And we're taking these normals for double digits, which is nice. There's a Dokkan attack. And our attack stat is at 4.6 mil. Okay, so with the support, with the high school of Gohan, it would have been over 5 mil. And this Dokkan attack should actually, I think, kill Broly most likely. Oh, no crit. A crit would have been really nice, man. But still, nonetheless, 6 million damage right there. And last guy we have here is the AGL Go, oh sorry, uh, STR Broly. I was thinking of AGL Trunks. And I'm actually transform my AGL Trunks here because it's not a transformation I get to see a lot. And uh, since I'm able to do it now, might as well go for it, right? So yeah, here we go. We got our Super Saiyan Trunks. Maybe I should transform one of these Gohans as well. Uh, hmm. Yeah, screw it. Why not? Let's 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 transform my Gohan because I think it's a little bit better than the friend one. Oh yeah, I forgot. This uh, active skill is mad long, so enjoy, guys. There we go. Okay. So we got the ultimate Gohan slash uh, Super Saiyan Trunks rotation. And let's have a little bit of fun with these guys right here. All right, here we go. Of course, Gohan taking no damage because that's just what he does. Um, this might actually hurt a little bit, but not much. Oh, never mind. I thought we would take at least like a couple hundred <laughs> or like a thousand damage, but uh, I underestimated Gohan clearly, so that's my bad. That's my bad. Uh, double supers for the ultimate Gohan. Hopefully we still get to see Trunks attack at least one more time in this showcase. Starting to doubt that. We'll see what the uh, Trunks does. Okay, only 3.2, because of course we can't stun or seal this Broly, which is the problem I have with this unit. He's very, very good at full potential, but unfortunately it's hard to see him at his full potential a lot of times, right? So, yeah, it kind of sucks in that sense. But uh, it's okay, because the bright side is that we do get to at least get one more attack off with our Fizz LR Trunks. And we also have the support here. So right now we are just under 300,000 defense. And let's see, I'll just give these three Fizz Orbs to the Trunks, and this should do it. Yeah, this should definitely do it. So let's see how I can tank these attacks, 45, 
There's the attack all 72 damage. Yeah, no problem at all. No problem at all. And 5.3 mil. Looks to be the highest attack stat we'll see in this video. And there's the additional normal attack. Ah! Yo, it would've been so nice. It would've been so nice if you got the additional super and killed him, or at least like the normal attack killed him. You know, I usually like the main unit we're showcasing to finish off events, but didn't quite get it there, man. Did not quite get it there. So there you have it. That is the Fizz LR Trunks EZ8. One thing I do, do like about him is that he is a viable first slot unit because his defense is not based on a super attack, right? He's going to get that defense boost, um, you know, regardless of whether he supers first or not. So he is definitely okay to be put in the first slot compared to a unit like the AGL Trunks, for example. Oh, my game just froze for a sec. We're good. Um, compared to a unit like the AGL Trunks, who needs to be in the second slot to, you know, get the super super attack first to get most of his defense boost. So, yeah, I like this uh, Fizz LR Trunks a lot. I think he is probably slightly above middle among all of the LR EZAs we've seen so far. He's not at the top. He's definitely not at the top. I'm not delusional enough of a Trunks fan to believe that. But he's good enough for the time being. My only worry, once again, is that he's not going to age as well long term, which uh, is unfortunate. But for the time being, he's still very good. Right now, he's a super usable, very viable unit. And I guess I should just be happy about that because for the longest time, he was not super usable, <laughs> you know, for, for today's meta, for today's day and age. So. There you have it guys, that is the Fizz LR Trunks EZ8, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him. If I were to give him a rating out of 10, he gets like a 7 out of 10 for me. I think 7 is pretty fair, you know, um, like good, it's like, a, it's like a B plus, right? But not quite in the A tier of EZ8 LRs, not quite as good as I wanted him to be, but good nonetheless. And those are my final thoughts about this EZA for now. Um, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, yeah, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.